Well, hello YouTube. We're here on the on a very uh, active scene here on the 110, right after uh, Century, for a helicopter that did an emergency landing on the freeway. So I have uh, my land all coming over here, and I'm gonna lift it off so I can place it on this bed and get him out of here. Most of the times what they do is they have those shackle points on top, so I see those holes there. So I've actually lifted some helicopters before, and that's actually a really strong point. So I'm going to see if that's the same case. I need to find the pilot. He did an emergency landing, so he should be fine. It might be that guy right there. That you're the pilot? Yeah. Okay, so I've uh, I think I lifted one for the for Glendale PD. Okay. And they had me hook up through the holes like that. Is that the same case with this? I don't know if that's the same case with this. I don't. I could call him right now. And ask, ask him because tell him that the last yeah. time it, it was all the exact same holes was like that. A, but was it a two blade? Yes. It was. Yeah. Okay. It was a small one like this one, and I still remember the hookup point. So basically, the the gentleman climbed up hey, top. Here and uh, put the shackles right through those holes and lift so, it up. So um, the, the tow guy's asking if we can lift it up by like the main rotor attached. He says he's done it before. Tell him Glendale PD had me hook or up Glendale to those PD. holes. You Send him a picture. It? Okay, yeah, let, I'll, I mean, he, know, he knows, you know. Okay. So he's gonna go, you said you go through the... So, so I put a little shackle on that, because the whole unit weighs about what, 20, 20 2200? 20, I figured, okay, so yeah. it's the same one. So um, I put my little shackles through there okay. and run a strap and basically through the circles on the yes, top. Yes, on the hole. You see the okay. hole right there? Those circles on the top, we can pull from that. Okay. All right. Then that's what we'll cool. do. He says he's done it. Before. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. Okay. I'll climb up there um, and then I'll start hooking up. So I'll hook up from that and I'll use these little baby shackles there. This cool. actually okay, should fit. Take the wheels off then if we're not going to use them. Okay, yeah, if you want to take them off. That way it's flat on the on yeah, the bars, right? Yeah, when you put it down. Okay. So you guys are going to hoist it up then? Yeah, okay. so um, I've actually lifted one for Glendale PD. They okay. crash landed on, well, emergency land, sorry. Uh, and I lift it through the top and basically pick it up. So it'll be a lot faster than rigging through the bottom. Do you use the other uh, heavy duty as well? No. No? No. Oh, okay. I told them, okay. Yeah. I, I thought you were because I, I said we'll close one, two, and three then because yeah. I can open no. have your operator. Yeah, you can do that. No, yeah, no, this one, okay. I'll pick That's it up. Point. I'll stay exclusively on the HOV lanes. That's fine. Okay. We're still going to take up. No, I, I free spool them like that. Free spool them? No, no, I, I do it. Okay. Yeah. It's 2,500 pounds, so it doesn't weigh anything. Yo. So like I stated uh, previously to the office, so I lifted one for a Glendale uh, PD. And um, yeah, they, they don't weigh that much. They're actually pretty small. So I just got confirmation just from the from the pilot. I guess he asked one of the technicians for that uh, if I could hook it up from there. So I got the green light rather than running straps and to the bottom and and risk damaging the antenna. I'm gonna go right there, but I'm gonna put a a, a ladder and everything. No, but where are we gonna drop it off? I don't know. It depends on him. I have no clue. We're well, probably gonna take it like that. I'm not sure if after we have to strap it just so it doesn't spin. Okay.
like that. Yeah. That way we put it here. That way I'm not on top of it. Okay. Should be fine right there. I put a shackle through this one. Let me test out this one, see if this one fits. Oh, I see, there's holes there, okay. So it wouldn't be a shackle, it would be a strap. You know what, maybe my web shack, no, the web shack is too short. Let me see if this one fits, hold on. If this one fits, it'll be perfect then. First, the pin has to go through. Okay, the pin fits. Let's see if this is wide enough. No. 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 Huh? I'm gonna have to use a strap. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm gonna go ahead and lift it off, and all you're gonna do is just back up straight on this side of the outriggers, okay? Ready? Ready. Make sure it doesn't spin. Hold the back. No, it's good. I, I got it. It's in the air. No, 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 no.
that way. Right there, right there, right there. Just that easy. There, right? Okay, let me go up the other side. Strap, start strapping from the legs. Here. It's not moving. It doesn't move? No. I'll ask them right now. Ready? Hey, sir, uh, to strap this down, um, can we wrap around the legs this way to hold yes. it? Okay. Uh, you could definitely Just, go around the back or around the any with the strut tubes can be locked up. The tubes would be the ones that come out the this one, way, right? Diagonally. Uh, I would do, if you can do the the bottom ones. The, better. the ones that are run parallel yeah, with the bed. That would be better. Uh, Ronnie, we we got a big flatbed. Yeah, flat holding up on. It's gonna slide. What media are you part of? Huh? What media are you part of? Traffic News LA. Traffic News LA? In, uh, LA County on the East. Oh, nice. You guys post, post on YouTube or anything like that? Uh, no. I think it's like Citizens and Traffic News LA. Nice. Okay. Oh, this camera. I, the whole setup. That's what we filmed with uh, for YouTube. Are you done? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. We yeah. for YouTube. We filmed for YouTube and we posted up after, uh, later. Oh, but I filmed with this uh, Canon, this uh, AK. Oh, yeah. Thanks, man. Can you do me a favor? Do yeah. you think you could instruct my guys how to yeah. strap it down correctly?
Is that the pocket three? I like that one. You have to take them? I'm gonna offload it over there so I can put it in my tunnel box. So I don't forget. Of course. <laughs> So since I'm gonna go offload it, I offer to uh, take uh, these little landing gears here. That way we don't have to strap it down or anything. Just to expedite the process, just to open up the freeway. my ladder real quick. Kick this fool's coffee. Don't forget your coffee spider. You're gonna ride with uh, my Lando uh, driver? This one, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. You that got way you the could. Wheels? Thanks. Yeah, I got put them in the tunnel box. All right, I'll hop in. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for your help. No worries. Uh, I'll follow. No worries, man. I'll uh, I'll follow you guys over there, and then okay. pretty much tell him where to go. That okay, way, he doesn't get lost. We're gonna be making the right onto 120th. They told me that's the easiest gate to get on the field, and the guys are there are gonna hold the gate open for us. So he's gonna take the the 110. Yep. To the 105. To the 105. Exit Crenshaw. Crenshaw. Okay. And then you make a left. A left. Onto Crenshaw. Okay. And then a right onto 120th. Okay. And then it'll be a gate on the left. 10-4. Okay. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. That quick service, man. Thank you. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Oh, what's it? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Thank sir. You. Take care. Thank you. <laughs> I'd say the driver's going to go with you. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right, brother. All right. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. You too, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Take care. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you. Just to say uh, thank you to all the officers for their hard, hard work, their due diligence. You ready? ready? So you're gonna follow him 110 south. To the 105. To the 105? West. Take yeah. The, yeah take Get off on Crenshaw. Crenshaw. Make, right? a, make a left. Uh huh. That course right there by the low. Make okay. a right on 120. It's gonna tell you. Yeah, 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 I know how to get there. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Spider. All right. Got everything. That's it. Take it slow. Don't go fast. I know. Yeah, even though he told me that thing's locked, I just want to make sure it doesn't. Uh, So at this moment we're just gonna. At this moment we're gonna pretty much follow uh, my driver. He's gonna go ahead and head over to the airport. Uh, we'll just off the, the 105 and pen shop.
with the HOV lanes and the regular main line. You want it right there? Or where do you want it at? Uh, anywhere, you, anywhere you guys drop it, if we got the wheels, we can just move it with the wheels. Okay. So whatever you need for you guys. If you guys need room to play, whatever you need to do. Oh, whatever, yeah. Because normally, I mean, you could park it wherever, I could just drop it there to avoid the wheels, but whatever yeah, you guys this, want. I mean, they, they would want it permanently, I think, here, right? Uh, where do you want it? Yeah, so we're, after you guys drop it, we're going to push it by the, by the fuel truck. So oh, okay. You could just drop so it you're here. You're gonna push it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay, that's fine. Yeah, with the wheel, whatever you do for you guys. Okay. okay. You know what I mean? So if if you want, do you want my land all closer there, or so you don't have to push for? Or? Yeah, yeah. If you get uh, if you get it close to here, if you guys have the room, it's up for you guys. It works. I mean, he could back up right next to the fuel truck, and I could drop it there if you want, because I could reach over the fuel truck. But it's up to you. Uh, no, uh, right here is cool. Yeah, yeah that way better. You know, no, yeah. yeah, let's not chance it. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Because no that worries. thing might spin while it's up, while it's in the air. Okay. I noticed it was kind of moving. When we well, that, the motor's locked, right? Uh, yeah, the rotor is blocked. Yeah. yeah. The whole thing itself is kind of... Yeah, I know, it's kind of nimble bad. and yeah. stuff. It, it spins basically however the orientation of the cables are gotcha. at. Okay. Yeah, anywhere here, I think. Okay, just back up right here. Not too hard to roll. Just back up right here and I'll get next to it, yeah. So I guess these gentlemen want me to pick it up and uh, swing it around. I guess the purpose of that is, I guess, uh, during its emergency landing, it uh, one of the legs or damaged it, I should say, and uh, 
they basically want me to lift it and uh, swing it over onto this, uh, this helipad. No pad, you can just drop it on the floor. Okay, so I'll just sky it and then I'll have my guy move under yeah, just drop it. That's fine. Another thing that if you want you could do is once my land on moves out of the way, you can move your pad under it and you're already there. We're not going to do the pad because okay. afterwards I don't have a way to get it off the pad. My guy has a flatbed and they pull it. So they need to be able to pull that thing okay. from, uh, from the ground. Okay, no worries. Yeah, that's why, that's why I told my mom. I was loading it for you, so it wouldn't have mattered. Oh, yeah, too. Oh, yeah, because we're not going to have to connect it, huh? Nope. Oh, that's right. Not What?
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All good. All right, man. Thank you, dude. Okay. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate your expertise. No worries. On this thing, dude. Clearly, you've uh, done one of these before, so. Uh, I've done a couple of them, <laughs> but most of the time we just do the tractor trailers on the freeway when they roll over. Gotcha. Burn jobs. Um, a lot of airport equipment, actually, like the cargo loaders and those tugs. I lift those with this one. Right. Yeah. At LAX, all over with Burbank. Yeah. Hawthorne, yeah. not so much, but all the other places, yeah. You guys have some tugs. I think I see one over there, a smaller yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah something smaller. Guys, I'm gonna depart just yeah, at 5 a.m. Thank you so much. Thank you. you guys gonna go on the 105 over here? What happened? On the 105? When you guys leave? Yeah, we'll just take the 105 back to the 110. Okay. Boyle Heights. There, we're gonna try through a gate. It, it's uh, it has enough space. Uh, so just make a right, a right, right. yeah, right turn. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's worry. the gate that they all use for the for the tractors. Cool, so we're pretty much uh, done with this job. Just had to go come in here and get the, the invoice taken care of. That's already paid for. So now off to, uh, off home. Very nice planes. Very, very nice planes. Clean place, look at the floor. What do those guys want? I guess they bought a, they bought a plane, they're gonna take it. Oh, wow, okay. Just bought a plane, they're gonna fly it now? <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> okay, so just to basically turn around and go back the same way, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, gentlemen, thank you for the help. No worries, bro. Take All right, care. Man. You too, man. Good night. Thanks, Good man. Bro. Appreciate it. Take care, bro. Oh, well, we're pretty much all, all set to go. We're going to get escorted out, out of here. Flipper's all put away. The casualty is uh, pretty much uh, there, just... Uh, waiting to be uh, broken down and uh, taken to Oxnard for, uh, for repairs because uh, it has to go through extensive repairs after an emergency landing to be airworthy. So I just turned around and pretty much had to boil heights. All right, guys. Thank you for watching, guys. Peace out. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another edition of Josh's Breakdown. This was a super fun job. I've always you know, loved the ones where they make national news and I'm getting text messages from people all across the country saying, hey, I saw you in from New York, Chicago, wherever on the news. This one came in last night. I'm filming this on Friday. And by the time you're watching this when it debuts, it's gonna be Saturday morning. I rushed this job really, really, really fast just cause um, a lot of my other videos like that excavator one, people are already commenting, when is that helicopter job gonna be out? So I thought while the job is still fresh and people are asking questions, it would be cool to post. Now, just to get this out of the way really quick, we're not going to be going into the backstory of what happened. For most of my jobs, whether it's Alex or myself on scene, whoever, we never ask the driver, hey, bro, what happened? How did you flip this? I need to know why. A lot of people are always asking, how did this happen? And it's just something we, we never really ask. We get called to lift something, upright something, or tow something, and we just go to do the job. So Alex did talk to the guy. The pilot was okay. Everyone was safe. And he never stopped to ask him, how did you do this or what, what happened? I'm sure there's probably a bunch of new sites on it by now. They probably have the answers, but that's not what this is about. This is just, as always, our technical ability and the crazy jobs we get. So this one, in the realm of things, it's a 2,500 pound or so for a um, helicopter. Really tiny thing, but they're still very sensitive. You'll see towards the end uh, when the guys are talking about it that the landing gear, the wheels were damaged from the emergency landing. That's one reason you don't want to do a straight pull on it onto the land all. It's always best to just lift them up and then drop them off exactly as they are because you don't want to risk anything. Once they get sent to be assessed from what I've heard, whether they crash land or emergency land or panics, however they, they get you know from point A to point B, the ground or resting spot, that's generally how the mechanic people or the repair people want to see it. So they can fully assess everything, stress test everything. And when you have like, you know, slightly damaged wheels or whatever and you're pulling it, um, up a land all at that angle or a flatbed, you risk throwing all those little calculations out the window. So a direct vertical lift from the lifting point at the top, that's where the center of gravity is, is the best bet on these jobs. Now you'll notice right away that the actual lifting part from start, Alex start to finish when it's up in the air is super short. I think it's about at the 10 minute mark is like when he's already on the land all. That's just, that's how fast these jobs are. Once Alex gets on scene, he, he sets up the outriggers of course, after talking to the personnel and getting the green light. So there's really not much time wasted. It's an in and out thing. 
especially on a high priority job like this. You'll see tons of news media in this video. There's Channel 7, 11, all the stringers, all kinds of different people walking around with the media passes and their own cameras. So you always have to keep that in mind that, you know, hey, all the pressure's always on us, but now it's especially on us because this is being live streamed to the whole nation. So I believe Alex did an incredible job. We all work well under pressure here. This area of the freeway is a hot spot, whether it's morning, day or night. Shutting it down extensively is not an option. Granted, this was in the fast track portion of the freeway, which if you're not familiar, the fast track is a special lane. It's like a, a toll highway. You gotta pay for that to use that to avoid all the cluster of the regular side of the freeway. So with that in mind, Alex got to work super quick. We use our Bailey Synthetic. We call them container slings, but these specific ones are a much smaller size than the regular container ones. I believe they're a 3 8 inch and they fit into places that just a regular container sling or even say like a half inch chain wouldn't fit. And in something like this, even a 3 8 chain that would probably fit in there more than likely would, would scratch up the inside, you know, of those holes. So Alex used the Bailey slings with, you know, the protection on it. Worked like a charm. They're incredibly strong, can lift like 10 times that helicopter in its own weight, each sling by itself, let alone doubled up. Now I've actually done a couple of these myself. One of my most popular videos I posted was an emergency plane landing as well on the street. I lifted that up with Hulk and we told it in a land all. Normally there's so much red tape on those. You got the FAA, CHP, PD, all kinds of agencies involved in this. And it's always a cluster of just high ranking people telling you what to do. But on this one, it just seemed everyone, you know, almost like it was a regular tow. It was eerie in the sense that once Alex showed up, it was just, hey, get this out of the way and that's it, you know, no. No crazy hours of standing by or investigation. I believe because it was just a true emergency landing. There's really not much you, you can investigate on scene after you get the driver's statement or the pilot statement, I should say. Oh, well, sorry, you know, if the color grading isn't up to par, like I said, I rushed this job. Rushed it because it's already approaching 8 p.m. and I want this out by the morning, so I still have to edit this part, throw it in the video, add in the tiny little things, and then upload it, do the thumbnail, do all that. So I got a long night cut out for myself. Really hoping you guys enjoy this one. Uh, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. You see my counter right here. I am just shy of 150,000 subscribers. I would really love to hit that small milestone. Go so consider subscribing if you haven't yet. And if you guys like the content, let me know in the comments what you think of this job. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.